I recently built the 300B SC stereo amplifier from the JC Morrison schematic you've probably seen on the internet many times. To test it, I wound the 3.5K primary single-ended output transformer as per schematic, and I got really nice results. The amp sounds truly amazing and measures up really nicely. I did notice quite a lot of variation in performance with different rectifier tubes and plate voltages, and there were a couple of things I didn't particularly like, such as the signal-to-noise ratio and the slight 50Hz audible noise from the speakers. I've recently seen a video by Skunky Designs where a cascode preamp stage made a huge difference in performance. Also just out of curiosity I wanted to wind the 5K transformer to see how it will change the sound and overall performance of this amp. I will go into more detail about the build and tests in another video. In this video I will focus on calculating and winding the output transformers on my shiny new CNC winder. To calculate the output transformer I will use my award-winning advanced SE transformer calculator spreadsheet which is available for sale on my website. Check the link in the description for more information. We will start with the speaker impedance and power which is 8 watts. The plate load is 5k and minimum frequency we want our transformer to faithfully deliver is 20 Hz. I'm using a 32 by 40 mm bobbin which makes a core cross section of 12.8 cm. By adding the bobbin window size dimensions I can be sure that I can fit the windings to the selected bobbin. On the right hand side we have the interleave 2 configuration which we will choose for our transformer. In order to get anything past 8 or 10 kHz we need to interleave or sandwich primary and secondary windings. I found that for SE output transformers, three primaries interleaved with two secondaries gives just the right frequency response easily exceeding the 20 kHz mark. The new CNC machine works quite nicely. I'm still getting used to the transport system but it's getting better and better with every transformer I wind. The machine can be programmed for a specific wire thickness and bobbin size or travel distance and also different speeds can be selected and most importantly you can of course select the number of turns. If you really wanted to make perfect layers you could use a thin piece of insulating paper after each layer but as I always say life is too short for putting insulation in between layers.
So first layer of primary is wound, now it's time to change the wire and wind the first half of the secondary winding. It fits just perfectly in one layer, which is nice. I've changed the wire gauge again, reset the machine and now I'm winding the second part of the primary winding. The nice thing about SE output transformers is that you don't have to worry about the balance between primary windings, as in push-pull, since it will all be just one winding connected in series in the end. That makes it really practical for interleaving. The second part of the secondary is wound and it's time to wind the last part of the primary winding.
If you like these kind of projects and audio transformer videos, please consider supporting me via PayPal me donation or Patreon page in the description. I would like to thank all my current patrons and supporters and all of you who bought the spreadsheets. If you're building or planning on building 300B amplifier, preferably in the EU, and you need the power and output transformers, check out the links in the description. They are now available for sale on my website. Stay tuned for the next video where I will hopefully test the transformers and the amplifier and show it in more detail. Thanks for watching.